Is that where the fire goes? No, no, it's not that. It's because of the pelican barks so, spending here. Pelican. You know, the pelican barks. Okay. They spend night here. In the morning, you find more than 200 of them here. So where do they go in the daytime? In the daytime, they go far away to look for fish and stuff, food, and then they come back. Every night. Every night. So what time they do they come? They come by seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Really? Yeah, and they spend the whole night here. Yeah. And where we are here, this place is called the slave yard. Slave yard. And the meaning of the slave yard is where the slaves will wait for their last shipment huh. to America. Because in the olden days, they have the councillors and the governors that are responsible of the slaves. Yeah, the yeah. councillors are the strong ones that will select the strong slaves from the prisons and they bring them in the slave yard here. That's the slave yard. Yeah. Hmm. So while the slaves will be sitting here, they have what we call the ATI. It's a branded iron. It's the name of a company huh. that they used to put into the fire, make it very red. Huh. From there, they will stamp it on the arms of the slaves. Then they can start putting them on board. If you take a look over there, you can see the very old metal. That place used to be old seaport of this island. Hmm. All right. That's where the slave boat used to stop. Yeah. Right. From the slave yard, they take all the slaves to the boat and from the boat to America. Uh. And in those days, the journey will take them for about three months. Yeah. Because in those days, the slave boats, they have no engine. They have to sail by their wind, yeah. or they row by their hands as well. Yeah. And if you come this way, you're gonna see the councillor's room and the governor's room. Uh. Wow. Councillor's room. All right, so this other room here is called the councillor room. And the other one here is called the governor's room. These are the two heads that are responsible of the island in the olden days. That's the councillor and the governor. And you can see the building is like two floors. Yeah. The up floor is having holes. Those holes will protect of gun. In case when they see the local people coming to rescue their fellow blacks into this island here, they start to fight against them. This is why the 500 people that come from the north to come and rescue their fellow blacks, they don't succeed. They have to sit down with the cannons and they all die. And because of this island, it's right in the middle of the river Gambia. The river divided the Gambia into two halves. You have the south that way, and you have the north that way. So this is why in those days, this is the only place where they can keep the slaves from there, they can transport them to America. And if you come here, you're gonna see the long room. All right, so this other room here is called the long room. The meaning of the long room is where the councillor and the governors will have their food. It's like a dining room for them. Mm -hmm. But for the slaves, they never have enough food or water. They don't give them any food or any water. Because in those days, you have very strong Africans. Most of them, they fight for their freedom. They never like to be a slave, to go to America to be a slave. Yeah. This is why the masters also don't want to give them enough food or water. They want to keep them weak, and they can transport them to America. But for the governor and the councillor, that's the place where they used to have their food. And you can even see the long room. It's even more bigger than where they keep the slaves. This is why we said the Atlantic slave trade is unbelievable. You can never think of maltreating a human being like that. Is it? Oh, God. So all those holes on the top, you know, they, that's where they put the guns? Yeah, those holes, of course. Yeah. Because, because this island was fully complete. Yeah. yeah. Everything was complete. This is one. That's where they keep the gunpowder. Oh, the armor, okay. That's the gunpowder yeah. store. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there was more rooms eventually before the island broke of up? Of course, it was not because this island took 800 slaves at once. 800 slaves at once. The hmm. Portuguese were here for 100 years, and the English are here for 400 years before everything will stop here. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, it's unbelievable. Wow. All right. Uh -huh. So just I tell you also, the island was six times bigger than this. Uh -huh. Almost 12 meters deep in the water this way was all part of James Island. Yeah. But because of the erosion, it's taking most part from it. And most part is eroding. Uh -huh. And this island, just I tell you, is built for only the slaves. In those days, this island is only for the slaves here. You have only slave prison in this island here, uh -huh. just to keep the blacks and from there to America. And if you take a look on top, the tower that you've seen, uh -huh. this tower is not the original tower. The original one was a wooden one in the island here, and it used to have a dynamo under. 
on top used to have a light to give the control of the slave boats coming in to pick up slaves to America. And the cannon under was brought in 1753. It is 24 pounder. They brought it here to protect this island. And just I tell you, the final abandon of this island was in 1829. That was the time the remaining slaves that were left here, they asked them to swim now to get back to the mainland to take the freedom flag pole. But just I tell you, none of them can swim on that time. They all drowned. So once again, that's the history of James Island. I thank you very much for your attention. From here, we're going back to the mainland to see the slave museum. And from there, that's going to be the end of the tour with you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Since it's done in the now, you can walk here and see. Down. Huh? Huh? So none of them were buried on this island? Of course, St. Andrew was buried in this island here. That was the first Portuguese pastor who died in this island no, here. No, not there, the slaves. The slaves, no. The slaves that are died here, the... They don't bury them, they throw them. They no, no slave in this island here. No slave was in Any buried. slave died, they just throw you to the this face. This is why Marcos Javi said, when you look in the background of the river, it's full of black man's bone, and which is very true. Ah. Lots of black man, millions of black people were been thrown into this river to cross the Atlantic. Crazy world. Really? A crazy world. So this metal, they do it to support it, or you know? Yeah, to handle that part, so that it can But this, this is not made by the government? No, 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 no. This is made by the government? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So... We are down in this cliff island. Most of the house are bro uh, fall down. Um, the water will stop almost all the way around this entry. Don't come no further. This should come up to here. It used to come. This is the place that used to stop. When it is high tide. But at the moment it's low tide. Yeah. No, but when the high tide, it comes up to here. Yeah. No, high tide, he say stop. you stop here. You don't see this place here. It never comes on top oh. because of the rocks. This is bow water tree. Yeah, oh. Good, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's been a few times once. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh.